This I'm H A P P Y. I'm H A P P Y. H A P P H A P P H A P P Y. Hello and welcome to the Pink Eagle Podcast. My name is Sally Jane and this is Rachel. Hello. Um, it's yeah, <laughs> summer holidays. Well, not actually your summer holidays are uh, winter holidays, but. Yeah, every time I've thought of podcasting, we've had play dates or people to see or places to go. When I started yoga, so every Monday morning when I used to podcast and Titus went to my mom, I've now been going to yeah. yoga. Rachel started yoga too, yeah. and she also actually really enjoys it. Um, so as soon as the school t- um, term gets back into the swing of things and everything, it'll work out again. But we're really pleased to be back. Um, and we thought we actually had to squeeze an episode in somewhere because our knit along did end quite a long time ago. <laughs> and we really do owe you guys some prizes. So we are doing this um, mostly just so we can tell you our prizes and, and send things out to you. <laughs> and to say thank you for the things that we've received as well. And the crafting, you know, there's that too. Right, so let's do the prizes first. <laughs> because that's the fun part. Right, so the opposites knit along that the Yonder woman um, and I run every year, well, we've done it for the last two years, whether it's going to be every year, who knows, but um, it has closed. So thank you to everybody that participated and that included your finished items and all the rest. We've been, um, I'm all, I always feel really honored when people, you know, join our knit along and listen to us. And there are lots of podcasts out there and lots of knit alongs and stuff. So it's... Um, yeah, it's really nice when people choose to join us. So thank you for everybody that included your finished objects. And I wish I could give everybody a prize, but then I suppose it wouldn't be as much fun. Hey, so anyway, um, prizes. I've done the random number generator before, just because it's easier to do that off screen than to try to scroll around. So yeah. So the first prize is from Sally Wool Diaries. Um, and she's one of the other South African podcasts, and I'm sure a lot of you listen to her because, um, or watch her podcast because she's hilarious, and she's a great friend of mine, and we're often talking about each other. So she has kindly donated a bag from her yarn bling shop, and I will put a picture of it in, and um, she will be posting that to you. So this goes to, um, it's Lady, and then I think it's in... Int, I N T N forty eight. It's isn't, Deborah. Isn't that Lady Inton? Maybe I don't know. Or Ladington. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we'll put the name across the bottom so you know who you are, and your name is Deborah, and you win one of Sally's bags. So congratulations and thank you for entering. Your P and M all the things. Yes, I, I will. Um, I know that most people make you watch the podcast to find out if you're a winner and stuff, but there are a lot of podcasts. And you don't always know when the people are going to be podcasting. And like us, the you know the actual thing ended, the little lot ended quite a few weeks ago. And if you've been like waiting and checking and stuff, and I know how easy it is to miss these things, and life gets busy and all the rest. So I know part of the the reason for having little longs and prizes is to make sure that the people watch to see if they won the prizes. But I'm just really pleased that you entered. And I, if you've won the prize, I will always PM you. And as long as you get back to me within the 30 days after I've PM'd you, then um, the prize is yours. So I don't make, I don't sort of say you have to have watched to to let me know because I know life happens and stuff happens. And and you did what was necessary to join in the first place. So. Um, yeah, I will always uh, PM you to say, you know, just, um, uh, uh, link your name in the show notes, which I think sends you a message. So, yeah, I, I ping you one way or another. So, yeah. Um, the next person um, wins the alpaca from the alpaca farm I went to, um, which I told you about when there was that alpaca open day. And it's two um, balls, or what are these, cakes, of, I think this is DK, 50 grams, 100% of Pekka, mm. and the one is ro- rose grey, and the other one, oh, dark rose grey and light rose grey, both from the 2015 uh, batch, or shearing, or whatever, and those are the yarns, this is, I, this um, uh, alpaca farm is um, elastic, mommy who's Catherine her dad 
run Theo Packer Farm. So we went to the, can we see the, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, you'd think by now after podcasting, I'd know which way to hold these things, but I don't, so. Um, and so we got these yarns when we went to the open day there. So I'll pack it for you. And this, did I even say who it was for? Did I? We had the whole thing of how to pronounce it. No, 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 that was, she's getting one of Sally's bags. This is PPX Man, who's Patricia, who made a really beautiful skirt. I love the skirt she did. So Patricia, this alpaca is for you. So send me your details. Um, whoever it is, you know, if you're getting a, a physical prize, because there are some pattern prizes, but if you're getting a physical prize, please let me have your mailing details. And your full name, because often your um, rivalry name sometimes just has your first name, but it does. I need a full name to be able to, well, don't have to, but it, I think it's preferable to post to a, a full name. Yeah. Uh, right, so that was the next one. Then I've got the next prize when we went to the chocolate tasting and um, I bought the little well, Notions pouch. Or, you yes, I have. When we came back from the chocolate tasting, I showed it. This is made, so it's a, a bag made from the coffee bean bags. Yes, they recycle the coffee bean bags. Um, the, the, cocoa. The cocoa and coffee. They bring cocoa and coffee in. And this is made by people with disabilities. And I got a chocolate to match because it was blue. So I don't know if you like, this was Titus's favorite. This is bean to bar, so they get the, the chocolate there. The 70% dark chocolate, and this had the salt flavor, which was Titus's favorite. Salt and the nibs. Nib, like little um, cocoa nibs in it. And it matched, so I got the blue one to match the bag. Hopefully you like chocolate. So hopefully you like dark chocolate with salt in it. <laughs> it's not overly salty, it's just got that little bit of a... Zen. Yeah, yeah. And this goes to you, as in you, the sheep name, use your yarn, which is Lisa. So, congratulations, Lisa, and send me your mailing details. We like to support recycled things and or what are they upcycled and you know things for people with disabilities and stuff. So I quite like to have prizes that include things like that too. And then we've got two pattern prizes. So contact me and let me know which pattern out of um, my Ravelry store that you would like, and I will give that to you. So those are. Yarn Poetry, who's Sarah, and L, LJ, LJ, who's Lisa Jane. So, congratulations. And, she's um, like you. Sally Jane. Yes, she's a Lisa Jane. Yes. Um, please let me know which pattern you would like me to gift to you, and I will do that. So, congratulations to all the prize winners, and we hope that you enjoyed the knit along with us. Yeah. I, I felt. Yeah, well, we didn't have much busy. hope that you would finish your show. I've been busy every time. I've got stuff to do. <laughs> Apparently, when you're 11, you've got lots of stuff to do that's not crafting. I, I also haven't podcasted for a very long time because I feel like I don't have very much to show you because I'm kind of in a development stage. Oh, <laughs> you, no, well, it's not a pattern, it's a collection that I'm doing with um, uh, Cowgirl Blues. And so I had some yarn that I could do some swatches with and I'm playing around with a way to make the, the collection cohesive and I've got a sort of an idea. I don't want to talk about it too much. I mean, as you know, I do show you and talk about the designs as I go along. But I just want to have it a little bit more finalized before, um, yeah, before I kind of tell you more about it. But needless to say, most of my time has been knitting and pulling out and swatching and staring at the things that I've been swatching and then doing other bits of swatching and then trying something else and then doing my blanket. So basically in between I'll get to a point and then I'm not really sure what else to knit or what else to do. And so I'll do a few squares of my blanket while I just kind of sit there and, and, and wait till there's more inspiration. And then I'll do a bit more swatching. So basically I've knitted nothing you, not useful is not the right word, because it will all be, yes, it will all be useful in the end, but I don't have objects, you know, I have knitted objects. The pink yes. one, the pink one. Yes, I have done those as well. So, I do have a finished object, I do have the um, Kingfisher socks finished. So, I don't think, that, they made them to fit my foot, so we'll see whether Rachel borrows them or they land up being Rachel's one day. But my socks are finished. I did do, as I've mentioned, I'm sorry, I've been knitting for so long, I feel like I've mentioned it a thousand times. I did the rounded toe and I used the um, deep gusset heel from 
The Pearl of the Pacific pattern. Um, um, sandy beach socks. White sandy beach socks, yes. Yeah. So obviously I didn't do the cable, but I just used the heel on those. So those are done, eventually. Um, well, Mom, I have this, I'm very close to wearing your socks in a size 6 and you're a size 8. Yeah, so it is close. Um, and then the other thing that I've sort of been listening, I then cast it on the neck socks. This is the first, if you will believe it, the first ever time that I've used a contrast colour. Yep, that is. No, you made one for Papa. No, no, I didn't. Red toe. I made a red heel when he wore through the one heel. He had an afterthought heel, so I could just take out the afterthought heel and I put in a red heel. You should do all Papa socks with afterthought heels. They don't fit as well. No, but then you can pull them out. I know, and but also use. he 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 wears them a bit above the heel as well. It isn't just anyway. Now that I'm using socks with nylon, he's not, and he's got more socks. He's not wearing through them quite as quickly as he was. So this this um, yarn was given to me by, for my birthday by Krim Farki. And it's very pretty. It is very pretty. Um, and I did a black toe. Sally gave me the yarn. It's so it's African actually, expression. I quite like it with black. So I'm going to do the, the, the toe, the heel, and the cuff in a contrast colour. Um, and um, speaking of Pearl of the Pacific, she is doing a knit along where you swap, um, swap. A, a little bit of yarn to give your partner for a heel or a toe. So Sally actually gave me this to try when she was here visiting me. And then she has sent me in a parcel another little bit. Um, this is my first red year. And this is a 25 gram. It's not your first red year. It's called my first red year. But it's not your first year. <laughs> no. And so um, this is also one to use for the ethnic long. I need to send her, um, her one too. I need yeah. to send her the for her heels and toes. So this will be my first contrast top, and this will be my second. This one's more sort of variegated or striped, so I might. I don't think that'll work well for toe heels. I don't know. I might um, land up with different contrast heels and toes. That could be interesting. And I might do a plain foot then. I'm not sure. It'll be interesting. So, yeah. These are my socks. First time contrast, but no, it's still my normal um, you know what you toe could, up. You could do. You could get black and then do this as your toe. You could, for your other, for, you could make this pair. Mm hmm. And then you could, for the next pair, get this black, mm -hmm. get a bigger ball, and then knit the this tone. part and this, and this part, this well, I think it might be quite nice to do black with these orange ones. But if you... I see what you... Yeah. If I've got enough, I don't know how much of this I'll have left. So these are um, uh, my socks. The other socks that I want to make, actually, now that, of course, I've started yoga, um, is I want to make some yoga socks, which then your toe and your heel stick out so you've got more grip on the mat otherwise you can Make be a bit sort of so. a bit sort of slippery or um leg warmers because when it's really cold then you you know um our houses aren't heated in south africa so even if you're doing yoga inside it's still quite There's, cold inside she's got a she does put a little heater on but it's not like um central heating so because we never get cold really well cold, we do get cold it's not that it doesn't get cold, cold. it doesn't get cold for long, long enough. enough so whereas we might only have bitterly bitterly cold for about a week yeah, like winter's about three months, but it isn't we only very, get very cold. cold for about a, a short while, anyway. Because it's, um, it's 25 Yeah, today it's 24, 25 degrees. But Although tomorrow is going to be rainy and down to 16, so yeah, who knows. Um, so I, need, I want to do some leg warmers and some yoga socks next. You might see those quite soon, too. And then the contrast heels and toes. I have an idea what you could make your yoga things out of. Did you? You know, like all the sock balls that you have left. Oh, like, like some like, crazy striped ones. Like the ones one. that I'm staring at you. St oh, that your, has a bit more left. Yeah. Your ones from the youth day socks, mm. your kingfishers, and your Christmas socks yeah. that are on your couch right now. You could like strap all of the, put like a, a few rows of each one of those in your leg. I would really one. want to look like a Christmas tree going to yoga, but yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> like scrappy socks. Yeah. Um, and then I knitted a couple of charity hats because we. And then you could start a new Instagram hashtag. What? Scrappy warmers. Scrappy warmers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know how many other people wear leg warmers. No, but scrappy warmers. So they could be socks, a hat, a cowl. Oh, you mean anything that keeps you warm? Okay, alright. <laughs> 
Um, and then part of my swatching and, and playing around with various patterns, I've done a couple of chariot hats for was this Rachel's of, charity. Was this out of... This, this was out of the, the yarn I made... Um, the coat. The coat, yes, the silver coat. Me. It's for small children. Which sucks because I like it. <laughs> so I've made a couple of little... I was trying to look at some how some patterns work with crown decreases and stuff. So then some of my other swatches I'll show you briefly. I've got that one. And this one, and this one, and this one. So you can see I have been busy. I just, yeah. Don't show them in detail though. You must leave no, because I, I need to details. find the, the idea that I'm working on first. Um, and then that's a lot of yarn you're going to have to fill. Yeah, so anyway, that's my, that's what I've most of you. And then my blanket. I've been doing quite yeah. a bit on my blanket. Oops, um, I've done about two more. Two more, I haven't sewn any more ends, of course. Two more rows, but I did some bigger squares. So there's a bigger square there. Are your bigger squares random? Um, and then there's a bigger square there as do well. Do you do them in random places or do you do them? Yeah, I kind of try to stagger them. Like there's one over there, so then I've put one over here. But why didn't you? And do then there's like one it? in that over there, and then there's one on that end. So they come these. Oh, there's one here as well. You so I try to sort of stagger them about a little bit. So where they do you still need one? You need one about... So there's one there. Yeah. But anyway, so I, I've done a few bits. This is the Christmas socks I had a little bit left because I made them a bit shorter. And you've still got a ton of it left. So since I saw you, I've finished the one row and I've done this whole row till the end. And then I've done this one and up here to make the big one because you've kind of got to go and two up to be able to... One. And then this, and then, yeah, so I need to join these two rows Together. across. This one has got a few in the middle, and this one's got to go all the way across. Um, so I know they only look like small squares. Um, I like this squares. One. I like this one. It is nice. Hey? Um, I know they only look like small squares, but they take a, they take a while. I mean, they take about 30, 40 minutes each, um, because my squares are bigger. I, I, I think the original pattern was... 31 squares and I do mine on 41 squares. Stitches. 41 stitches, yes. Where do you, where's this yarn from? I don't know. I have not. This one I've been eyeing the whole time. The green and brown. Yeah, I don't know. It came with a lot of this, uh, you know, various um, bits that of That would make the most me. amazing socks ever. Yeah. So that's my blanket, which still doesn't seem very big. And here's but the thing for my shawl. Yes. Yeah. And I've put in... Also. I can't remember where I got all of them. That one's from Ushi. And I think maybe that one. Yeah, I can't remember where I got all of them. But they've been fun. I'm, I'm enjoying the blanket. This, no, this one is from... So it, I know it doesn't seem like very much. And it doesn't... I know when you Mom show it, it doesn't show very much. Mom's but been knitting. I have. I've been knitting on that. She's sulked over by his swatching a oh. couple of times. I've stared at the books and thought, shall I do it this way or shall Black I... There's thing. a specific thing I'm wanting to do it. I don't know if it's coming out quite like I want. Quite like that. Anyway. Mm. So that's probably all I've done with knitting. And this tell them much. about your glasses. Oh, I will in a minute. The only other crafting I got, again, when I was having a bit of a tantrum about not knowing what to do with my design legs, I did some visible mending. If you want to uh, see my Instagram account, then you will have seen. Visible mending isn't trying to hide it away. It's actually sort of... Showing it shows, you know, you're not making any secret of the fact that you've mended it, which I know kind of flies completely in the face of the fashion at the moment, which seems to be to have great big holes in everything, and that you're supposed but to buy them the, with big but holes. not the small holes, the small holes. You're supposed to have big holes, or mostly it's shredded or whatever. I saw a way where an entire part of the leg was just missing. Can't think. Anyway, I, I'm not a follower no. of great fashion, so it doesn't You're really buying matter. buying half your jeans missing. I know, I know. I sound like my mother. Like, Can't buy it with half the jeans missing. Anyway, so I did some visible maybe. Let's go up here a little bit so I can show you. <laughs> so I did this bit on the knee here. If you go look at my Instagram account, it'll be much easier to see. So there was this where you kind of do all these little small stitches because like this. Add in a couple of pictures for people that are on I did, Instagram. Yeah. I did one over here, but I did a different colour cotton, so you can't really sit. And I played around with going diagonally and straight. I think it'll and look cool if you do it in rainbows. Yeah, in different colours. So I'm just, it's the first time I've done this visible mending. And it was quite fun, actually. It, took it takes a while. ages. You do know, because to do the, the, the little stitches here, to get them even and up and down and stuff. Do it on the you machine. could, you could. And I put, really um, I put 
a denim behind it. You know, you've got you've got to sit onto something behind it to um, uh, give it some strut or support or whatever. Um, so yeah, to, to, to make those tiny, fine, even stitches. I don't know if I got it perfectly right, but it was fun. So I did. That's the other crafting that I've done. Rachel has made something. It's not anything knitting or crochet related. Her husband's been lying on it. Her husband's lying on it. Um, her and my mom made a little dress. It's actually really cute. It's a little bit longer at the. So she wears it with leggings. It's a little bit longer at the bottom it's than at the top. A bit creased at the um, moment because. And then it's got. Uh, it's a little um, you know, a bias binding around the neck, and then you do the armhole with bias binding and the little sleeve cap, and then you flap the little uh, cap sleeve thingy over. You, so, you first sew it, and then you yeah. Sew it. Get that bag over there. The pattern's actually in there because I'm gonna. It comes up to adult sizes, so I'm actually gonna make one for yourself. For myself. Uh, Whoops. <laughs> Ripped it straight out of my hand. And then it's got this little, um, you know, it's slightly longer at the back than the front. And it's really quite cute. So she looks lovely. She wore it over her leggings. Um, so it is this one, hey. Yeah. So it's this, the this pattern. And we made, oops, we're going with this one, yeah. We made that one. Yeah. So that is... Um, I'm actually going to try and make one for me as well, so, yeah. And I, but the right side projects. Oh, you're going to do that one next. Cool. Then we've received some nice things, so we'll tell what you about... What um, about, uh, whips? Oh, well, that was, I just had my blankets, the socks, and the swatches. I have a little swatches. bit of these. Oh. A little bit. Rachel, you've been knitting those since last year. I have... By the time you have a heel and a sock, then you can show them again. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll hand them to you. Um, I've got about an inch left over here. I got something from Sally. She decided that she was tired of her barn raising dog. square. Is it the barn raising mm -hmm. squares? Something like that. I like the colour. Um, and she was doing them in in this set. This my first Regia ones. And she got to the point where either she had to buy more. Or she had, you know, figure out what to do with it. She didn't want to block them and she didn't feel like sewing them together. And so she sent them to me to make up a little blanket to go to my niece. Although I'm not sure it's going to get to my niece. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I think Rachel's hoping to crochet together and take I'll it herself. Tell you what, I crochet together. Um, so we, there's a whole bag of these. Um, I like this colour. Squares and the little extras of the yarn. I'm not sure how. Look at them all. Did you loads and loads of them. All this knitting. All of them have been shown. But she said it was either the chat to frog them, or and because it's wool, it's um, harder to give it to a charity. It's much harder to look after that. So anyway, we've got all of these. Whether they go to my niece or whether Rachel ends up making them. Oh my blanket. gosh! There's more. Yeah, there's more. Here. Yeah. And halfway through one. Sally might have to send me the pattern. I can finish that one. So I'm not sure if we have to block them before we sew them together. That might be a bit of a pain. Here's the pattern. Oh, is the pattern in here too? Oh, look at that. So now I can... Um, you know what would look oh, right. I can do that then. You know what would look so good if you um, combine some of the... There are some things. that are combined. I know if she you just did combine some all of them, they made yeah, the bigger. Yeah. So that's what we've got to work on as well. And it's in fun. a bag that says gluten free on it. <laughs> Maybe you can um, work on this instead of starting a whole craft project. You can do something that go quite quickly and finish something, but still be crafting if you feel like everything else um, takes, it takes so long. So thank you very much, Sally. We will, we will um, attempt to uh, do it justice, is what I was going to say. And then she also sent me, we're sharing tea. Sally is trying out all sorts of different teas. So these are coffees for the espresso machine. Oh, that's nice. But um, we're trying out different teas. I have so much tea to try that, like, she buys a box and then tries it and then sends me half. So I am having so much fun. Like, tea she time is... She tried this one, yeah. She has. And then she takes some and then tapes it up and sends it to me. Um, there's some she likes more than others. 
want to see what this towel is. So um, I've got Earl Grey's and I've got Christmas Season's Delight. We've got licorice, gola chai, lemon chai. chai, so much tea. Gingerbread tea. One of my favourite at the moment, I don't normally like chamomile tea, strangely enough, but one of my favourite at the moment, where is it, where it is, is this one, the chamomile and vanilla. This is so nice. Really what liking this? this. Oh, that's a peanut, look, I haven't even eaten it yet, a peanut butter bar. Vegetable thing. Um, and all sorts of teas, blueberry and apple. Yeah. Titan just wants to try the blueberry and <laughs> apple. Anything apple. So this is my big box of tea I've got. What about the other tea? I put it all in here. Oh, you put them all in there. It's a good in one place. Tea time is really quite exciting. And then we got another um, parcel. Yes, let's do that one. We got another parcel from uh, a very kind viewer. Kathleen, who sent us, um, oh, those fell off in the little bag when you jumped oh. up earlier. Um, from Kathleen, who, there's a really lovely card, which I've now lost. Oh, there's the card. Right. So, um, she was just saying that she enjoys the podcast and that she'd like to contribute to the charity. Um, and so then she made the notions bag and the spinning stuff is for Rachel. And Look at this. This is absolutely this is beautiful. Yeah. These are all things for Rachel to spin. With my spinning thing, I'm going to be spinning. It's beautiful. Yeah. I know. You need to get on with your crafting. People have said it you're such a nice It takes forever to spin with it. Um, and then in the little... This is such a cute bag. Really love it. It's like a little notions pouch, but it's got all these little zippered pieces. And then in each of these is a little gift for Rachel, which is really lovely. There's a little pencil and scissors and a stitch counter. Um... um Stitch a row row counter, and then this one had some little stitch markers in it, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? In um, blue and yellow, which is Rachel's favourite colours. Little bees on that one. And a cute little bee fabric. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then a different one inside. Oh, that's lovely. So um, and then for me, I got this purple. She said for the new purple in my hair. I know it's sort of washed out a bit, but I've been doing the top part you of my hair in purple, which is a bit darker. You know what you can do? You can so have the this top part, and then you can have your ends. Maybe. So this is Heritage Cascade Yarns, 75% uh, Merino, 25% Nylon. Have you had Cascade before? Um, I do have another one somewhere. I actually think I want to maybe make a shawl from this, 400 meters. So I'm thinking of maybe combining it with something else and making like a two-color... What? Short. short? I don't know. You can look at... Looks um, lovely, doesn't it? The... Oh, it's so lovely. And this color is just called Dark Plum. Very lovely. With my new... It's day. not coming out, out the right color. It's coming out way too maroon. That's what. Right. That's right. It was coming Oopsie. up maroon next to your hair. It's really it's a lovely color. I think it's a bit more red on the screen than it is. It's got a little bit more blue to it than anyway. That, that's the correct cut. So um, that was really thank you. And then she sent us some hats, and there are two more there. For the we got a whole box, all chock a chock a block full of things. I um, like this hat a lot. Yeah, it's so cute. So we've got so, some of the hats are very hard to part with. We've got hats. And we've got oops, the rest of the box is all washcloths for our a toiletry bags. Leaf. So we'll just go through these. A very big one, a nice big one with a pattern down the front. What else have we got here? Oh, so many. I mean, you see, so 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 many. And this I was worried that I was going to run short. Cool that is cute. I was worried that I was going to run short of um, washcloths, actually. So these were so gratefully received. Thank you very, very, very much. We're going to do the drop off very soon. Very soon, yeah. So thank you. This is really um, a fantastic um, addition to our stuff. And I have I have received some anonymous donations as well. And I just want to say, some people don't always want to be mentioned. They kind of want to donate in. Um, private sort of thing um so just to say thank you very much i have got them and they're also very very gratefully received so thank you 
that's like so oh Thank we've you. just loved how much you guys have supported us in this and it's been it's it's wonderful that there's just so much love from all over the world which is great and then very exciting i got my swap parcel from the south african and um, swap group um, because postage is very expensive for us overseas and our postage can be a bit unreliable into south africa um or it can just take really long it's difficult for us to join overseas swaps because you know in the deadline sometimes people have sent stuff and it takes extremely long to get to us and so it's, it's not always as nice to um join overseas swaps so because the postage is also very expensive you're limited in what you can send so we have a south african swap group where we can send in amongst ourselves here Sorry, you can't join. Yeah, <laughs> if you're not in South Africa. And we did a magic swap, so you could do it. I, and you've seen that I made a shawl to go with mine, and my theme was um, actual like stage magic, like cards. Has and, it arrived? At the yes, it has. So um, I was sending to Jenny, and um, Emma helped me make the geek helped me make a really nice box for it to go in with cards all along the top, and I'll put some pictures in if I can. And then you I, got to cut I put up each cards. each. Um, uh, item that I put in I found the name of a magic trick um, like the shawl has zigzags on there was some magic trick called the zigzag lady so I used that and then the vanishing trick I put with the chocolate and then I didn't write out the trick it just said the vanishing trick and it, it, it had the chocolate on and I left it because the others I like explained what the trick was about but I just left it blank because you're like chocolate just vanishes somehow <laughs> I know. Um, so I got my parcel, and mine was um, Harry Potter themed. That's um, my favorite form of yeah. magic. Yeah. And so I got, and then they were each wrapped up. I'll put a picture in of the, and then each one had a, a little a personal or a kind of a theme. And this one was for the Marauders map. Um, this was for Fred and George Weasley. Yes. So my swap partner, you had to include it in a knitted. Or crocheted or some handmade item but because she has a repetitive strain injury on her hand she did hand stitching instead of isn't that machine knitting. stitching uh, well the, the, the this is yes but this is all hand stitched so it says I solemnly swear that I am up to no good and then she's put it on this kind of map fabric which no, I think wait, is fantastic wait. what we are Dead. Yes, we are there. <laughs> I think it's absolutely fantastic. I love this cushion. I think she's even on this calico. It looks like she's even um, dyed there. I don't know if it was a tea or something to make it look like an aged map. It's just absolutely fantastic. So I have to make sure Rachel doesn't nick this because she likes this pillow very much. <laughs> and then I think these were. For Severus Snape, is that right? Dark. Professor Snape. Professor Snape, yeah. The dark chocolate, I suppose, because he's sort of dark and broody. Even though he's a good, he's a good character in the end. Hey? And then this was cat. Professor Professor McGonagall was the um, cat she, she, and the tea, which I thought was very cute. She drank tea in the one thing. Yeah, and that she has, you know, um, she's and then Mrs. Um, Mrs. Weasley. Weasley was the sewing kit and the sewing needles. Because she constantly has to yeah. mm -hmm. And then she has those knitting needles in the corner that yeah. do the knitting by themselves. And then this was, I think, Hogwarts um, was the notebook with the owl and the pen. Isn't that clever? It was such a lovely that's swap. Clever. So That's Henry. Yeah, little owl. So I I think I got a fantastic parcel. So thank you so much, Celiane, um, Tatty Teddy, who sent that to me. It was a really I loved opening that. It was a really really nice parcel. So yeah, I think that's probably about all we have to say. We will make sure that we try to do a bit more crafting for next time and have some more things to show you. But we really just wanted to do the prizes. So thank you for the things we've given, and um, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.